Hi everybody, it's Deborah. I am doing something. I, I found a table. Let me see if I can show it to you. And I'm going to use it for my craft table. It's just an old table from like the 60s. See the condition that it's in? It's an old school desk. Really old school desk. See those legs? Okay. And see there at the end? I'm decoupaging it with, excuse me, I keep running into this chair. I'm decoupaging it with napkins. That's what, that's my project tonight. And hopefully it will turn out okay. I'm just going to use it for a craft table so it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. I'm not trying to win a beauty contest with it. I just want it to look better than it does. And I didn't feel like painting. So I thought, well, tediously putting napkins on a table was so much easier than painting, right? No, not right. But I'm enjoying it. <laughs> so I found these beautiful napkins at a uh, thrift store. And I thought, well, these might look good. On this table so I am taking them and separating them okay they're three ply so there will be three sheets and it isn't easy to separate them sometimes it helps to moisten your fingers a little bit Okay, he doesn't want to cooperate with me. Just because I turned on the video camera, right? Okay, there. Oh, ho, ho. that's the first layer. And there's the second layer. Okay. Pull those layers off of there and I just take and line them up and I'm going to go all the way down the table like this on both sides and I'm using Mod Podge it's I'll tell you what sometimes this can be difficult to do I don't want it too thick because if it's too thick then it wrinkles the napkins more. I think it's just about impossible not to wrinkle the napkins anyway. There is another way to do this that I saw in a video earlier that I'm going to have to try but I just didn't feel like pulling out an iron. I don't even know where my iron is right now. But you can take and um, put like handy wrap or saran wrap something like that. I wouldn't think you'd want to use the real, real sticky kind. And you can put it on the piece that you're working on. And then you can iron it. And it works. It turns into like a glue. Which is pretty cool. So I'm going to try that on something one of these days soon. Uh, try to keep from... Tearing these napkins is another thing. I think I'm going to overlap it just a tad. And trying to get them straight, too. That's pretty straight. Okay. And then I do like this and put some more down. Now, 
probably going to take me a while to finish this table. I've only just begun. So I'm going to come back later when the table is done and show it to you. I'll do a little bit more here. See how it wrinkles? I don't know if you can see that or not, but it does. It, it wrinkles some, but you know what? That's going to just give it character, I think. I mean, I think it'll look okay. It's going to be covered up with junk most of the time anyway, because I've always got my craft table full of stuff. And this is like a five-foot table. It's five by... I can't remember three and a half or something like that pretty good size table so I ought to have enough room on it to put some things on the back and work on the front that's my goal anyway have a little bit more workspace I've been using a little bit little bitty four foot table that's only about maybe two two and a half feet long or wide and kind of cramped for space there so but I have enough room to put this uh, I'm working out here in my shop or well, some people might call it a she cave my husband has closed in our 20 by 30 carport for me and little by little he's fixing it up on the inside that's how come that's how come my counters and everything are over there all crammed up against all those clothes and uh, and see the ceiling is in the process of getting done my husband works really hard Let me show you the other side see the other side he already finished it still needs some painting he already finished the other side this place is a mess so please excuse my mess and he put in a arched window over there on that other side and he's going to put one on this side for me, too. The side of the door. So I'll have two nice arched windows. And we're going to put some shelving all down the wall on the other side of these clothes. Uh, some industrial shelving with pipes and shelves. And I think it's going to be really cool. I'm excited. And I'll have... Plenty of room to put all my junk that I sell on eBay and also to work on my craft projects hopefully and plus it'll be like a little shop where if uh, like when I have yard sales and or somebody wants to just look at my stuff they can come in and look at my stuff it won't be like opened all the time like a regular store but somebody wants to call me up and say hey I want to come look at your stuff they'll be able to and because I have my jewelry counter I'll have set up and, and I'll also probably take in some eBay uh, consignments so little this and a little that. Sometimes I have too many rabbits in my hat. If you know what I mean. Some people say too many irons in the fire. Yep. I'm notorious for that. But I never get bored. Anyway. Then I'm going to glue this on the side too because the side has doesn't look very good either <laughs> so I think I'm just going to do all down the side first and then do the middle and then do the other side it would be easier that way see the glue coming through 
No, you probably can't even see what I'm doing, can you? That's about right. There. See, and I'm going to glue it up underneath it, too. It's kind of a little wraparound effect here. Now, yeah. oops. The part that doesn't have anything to hang on to there kind of rips off at the bottom. <laughs> so that's fine. Works for me. It still looks good. Yeah. Anyway, throw that in the trash. Anyway, I am going to pause this, and when I'm finished, I will come back and show you what it looks like. After I'm finished, I'm going to have to go over it with the Mod Podge again to seal it. Let's see if I ever mess it up, which I'm sure I will. I can always do this again with another kind of napkin and make it look totally different. Or even pictures or something. I did one time one time uh one time I did one with it was one of my first collage experiences. Um I had a piece of plywood and I just took pictures from calendars and all kinds of things like that, just magazines and stuff like that. A lot of pretty pictures. And I glued them down on that board and then I took and I polyurethaned it. And there wasn't nothing going to hurt that piece of wood. And I used it for a craft table. It made a really nice craft table. And when I decided I didn't want it anymore, I set it out by the side of the road for the trash man. Somebody stole it. Or somebody picked it up. They didn't really steal it. <laughs> I gave it to them. <laughs> I don't know who it was, but kind of... I thought, well, I guess somebody liked it. <laughs> Never thought of it. Well, you see, I don't guess I even thought of it as being a piece of art. But I guess it was. And uh, somebody probably hung it on their wall. I don't know. Anyway, I, I think I put like three coats of polyurethane on it. It was pretty thick. And uh, took a while to dry, too. Anyway, okay. I'm going to end this or pause the video and come back later. Let's see. If I can figure out how to pause it, I will, I will. There it is. Well, I think, huh, I think I bit off more than I can chew in one evening because it's already late and I'm getting tired. My back is hurting. So I am thinking that I'm just going to lay like one more sheet. See if I can do this without messing it up. Like I did one just a minute. The good thing about working off camera is when you make a mistake, uh, nobody knows it unless you tell them. I messed up one of my napkins. I guess I'm doing good to only have messed up one. Um, and this is the first time I've ever done this. So I got to give myself a little credit, I guess. Um, I will come back and make another video to uh, show you the finished product or my finished table. <laughs> and um, this could be done with material as well, which I thought about doing because I thought, well, you know what? I could use spray glue and just do the whole table and it would be a lot faster. But no, 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 I'm glutton for punishment.
I decided I'll just do this. These are handy. I had material, but didn't want to go hunt it down. See, being lazy, and then I put myself, got myself more into more work. <laughs> but I wanted to learn how to do this, so I guess that's, that's why I decided to do it really. Because I have never uh, worked. I've never decoupaged with napkins before. Oh, one time I did, come to think of it, but it was just a little ATC card. That's not anything near like this. And it turned out real cute, too. Ooh, this one little... This last ply is hard to get off. It is... There. Contrary. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if I can get this on here straight. Yeah, last time I tried to do it a little bit different and I missed it. I got it all stuck down in the wrong place and You know, it's kind of fun to take something old and fix it up a little bit and make it different. And this is an old table somebody might have taken to the dump. But it's a solid wood table. And it's a good one. I wouldn't mind having a couple more of these. I know the lady has more of these. I'm thinking about finding out. You know... I also thought about taking these and just using the wood to make my shelves with. Let's take them apart and repurpose the wood. Wood's expensive. I only paid $10 for this table. I could make two nice shelves with it. I don't know whether it would come out being a... I'd have to figure it out. Figure out if it'd save me any money. But one thing I know for sure, it's good wood. This table's probably from like the 60s. It's out of an old school. So. Almost finished with this piece, and I think I'm going to go to bed. It's getting late. I know, this is a boring video. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera. And, uh, say goodnight. God bless you. Bye.